In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Bixby 2.0 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And let's talk about all the new features that are available with Bixby on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the different ways in which you can activate Bixby. So right here on the side, this is the Bixby button. So to get in initially to Bixby, all you need to do is press down on the button and it will go right into the little Bixby home and it might ask you to sign in with your Samsung account the very first time you do it. So now that we have Bixby set up, if we want to activate Bixby, we can do it in four ways. One, we can do it by voice. So if I say, hi Bixby, that will actually pull up Bixby. The second way is we can hold down the Bixby button and then it will start listening to you. The third way is when you press the button, you then have the Bixby option down here in the bottom left-hand corner, so I can press that and then Bixby will start listening. And then the fourth way is you press and hold this icon and drag over and then it pulls up your keyboard and you can actually type whatever you would like to say to Bixby and then it would respond right there. Now that we know how to activate Bixby, let me show you a few extra settings you might want to get set up first. So when you go into the Bixby homepage here, here it's showing you a few different options of things that you can ask right there. If you click up in the top left corner, this is going to take you to your Bixby information. So here it's showing my account, my nickname, my address, any payment methods you've set up, and then here you can manage services and preferences, and then down here you have quick commands which we'll get to in a little bit. But if I wanted to change some of my services that I've activated on Bixby, I can come in here and change that. So let's say I want to add my Spotify account. I could come in here and add it. I could add it or remove it right from that area in the app. So that's your main profile. Now the other portion is up here in the settings menu in the top right. So if we click that, here we have notices. So it's just gonna tell you anything new. Here we have tutorials, so these are pretty simple suggestions on things that you can use Bixby for. Here we have the menu where this is where we can add and create quick commands. Here we can go into the settings. So in the settings, some of the things you might want to adjust is the different voices. So right now it has Stephanie as the main voice. So then here are the other voices. We have Julia. Hi, my name is Bixby. And then we have John. Hi, my name is Bixby. And then here we have languages. So right now it currently is only supporting these three different languages. Hopefully more languages will come soon, but nothing announced at the moment. And then down here we have the voice response. So right now I can have it always give me a verbal response or I can have it set to only when I'm using a Bluetooth headphones. So that way I don't hear every single thing because I can be looking at the screen and see the response. Next we have automatic listening mode. If Bixby asks you a question, it will automatically start listening to your response. So you could turn it off right there. Here we have the wake up command. So right now I have it so that when I do say this command, it will actually turn on and start listening to me. So here we can have it set to listen even when a ringtone is playing or an alarm or media. So that way you could cancel or stop the alarm. And here we can change the sensitivity. So if it hears us all the time, like sometimes I'll just say, the name and it will activate. So maybe I need to go down to low sensitivity. So on high sensitivity, even if it thinks you said the keyword to activate it, it would turn on even if you did or did not. So here it will take a list of recordings and learn your voice better so that it can respond to you better. And then last here, you can delete your voice wake up recording so it wouldn't know your voice. So then down here we have an option to use Bixby while the phone is locked. So this is kind of handy if maybe you have your lock settings on. Let's fully lock our phone right there. So now I can't get into my phone, but if I wanted to use Bixby, I could still do that. What is the time? It's 11.18 p.m. And then if there were something that's more sensitive information, this is what it says. What's on my calendar tomorrow? Please unlock your phone first. So then of course we would need to unlock the phone to get that information. And then I already made a video about this, but right now when you press the Bixby key once, it's going to go into the app, or you can have it so you can press the button over here twice, and then it will go into the Bixby app. That helps a lot in making sure that you don't accidentally press the button and have it pop up on screen. Down here you can turn off marketing information, and then if you wanna check for updates, you can go under the About Bixby section. 
So that was all the different profile settings and the settings of Bixby itself. But now let's talk about what it can actually do. So on this main page, it's going to give you some recommendations on things that you can do. But if we swipe over here, it's going to show you the new services or different commands that you could use. So if I want to use my calendar, let's go into calendar. Here are some different actions that you could do. So you could have it show your calendar, read today's schedule, cancel tonight's events. You can move events all right there. And then under manage, sometimes you'll see some information like it needs to know your location or it needs uh, your agreement to access certain information. So a new thing with Bixby 2.0 is you can directly link your different services. So I already showed you that in Spotify, you can actually add your Spotify account so that when you ask it to play music, it will directly go into Spotify and play that music. And that is the same for like Uber. So now you can actually call an Uber right from Bixby once you link your account. So now I could use some of these commands to have it call an Uber. Now, when I did try it, I was just testing it out. It failed on me. So um, try it before you actually really need to use this service. So you can go through and learn more about all the different applications um, and what they can do. Like one of the cool things, Samsung Health, you wouldn't think to do much with Samsung Health, but here you can ask it to log a banana for breakfast. So it'll automatically open the app and go and add that so that you don't have to do that. So one of the great things about Bixby is it knows your phone so well that it can get things done faster without you having to jump into multiple applications or take different steps to do certain actions. Now I'm gonna go through and ask some different commands that you might want to use on a regular basis. I will be long pressing the button here so that you can quickly see how it is done and I don't activate your phone. Turn off my alarms. There are five alarms. Which alarms do you want to turn off? So here I can go through and tap all the ones that I would like to turn off and turn I off. I turned off three alarms. In Bixby Vision, scan a QR code. So it can instantly open up my camera, scan a QR code. When is Halloween? Wednesday, October 31st, 2018. Search for Samsung Music on Galaxy Apps. One of the things I would like it to be able to do is know that I want it to update that application. I couldn't get it to do that. What song is playing? Listening to music. You probably think that you are better now, better now. You only see the song. Open the camera and go to AR emoji. And there we could go and create our AR emoji. Remind me to make a Note 9 video about AR emojis. I've saved that reminder. And if I wanted to add an alert, I could tap on the screen and do that as well. Turn on power saving mode. And here it's asking if we want to turn it on, we would need to select apply. Play Matt Carney from Spotify. So it tried, didn't really work. Go to the home screen. Log four eggs for breakfast. And here we could choose what type of egg we wanted. Add a contact with the name of Dex and 12345678900 as the number. Which name do you want to save? Dex. Saved. Show my battery usage. What is a good tip for $20? Your 15% tip on $20 total is $3. And if you wanted to change any information down here, it's asking if you want an 18% tip. I could also tap on the tip and Your change it there. Tip on 20 Read my last text message. There are 20 messages from Brett at 11.31 p.m. Dead dove. Do not eat. And more. Send a message to Brett. There are 40 contacts like that. 
Who should I send this to? Brett. What do you want to say in the message? Okay, that sounds good. Would you like me to send this message? Yes. For sure. I've requested to send a message to that contact. And then you can also do calls and everything. So now, one of the other big parts of Bixby is doing quick commands. So with Bixby, you can do two commands at once. So I could say, use one app to do something. Like if I wanna search on YouTube, I can say, search for Note 9 videos on YouTube. So typically it would go right to YouTube. I don't know why I have to keep clicking OK. But I went into YouTube and it searched for Note 9 video. So that's great. But what if I want to do multiple things at once? So if we go into Bixby and then we go into the settings up here and go to quick commands, you can do multiple things just by saying one command here in the Bixby settings. So right now, if I say going home, it's going to turn on Bluetooth, turn off Wi-Fi, play a song, and then get directions to home. So up here, there are some recommended things that I could choose. So if I'm gonna say going to work or live translate, good morning. Um, so we have a bunch of different recommended items right here and you can quickly add it to your library by selecting plus and now it has added that quick command right here. But if I wanna go through and create my own personalized quick commands, I can select the add up here at the top and then here we're gonna choose what the quick command phrase would be. Good night. So when I say good night, then I add what commands I want it to use. So here I'm going to select add command. And here I could choose to select a command from something I recently did. I can choose to say the command or I could type in the command. So let's just say the command, sing me a song. And then we can go through and add another one. Set my brightness to 50%. Turn on blue light filter. Set my alarm for 7 a.m. Turn on do not disturb. Play lullabies from Spotify. Okay, so now we have a big list of commands here. I could change the order that these happen in. So let's say I want my brightness to change at the very end. And then that's it. Now I can select save. And so now you can see all the things that this is going to do. You could go back in there and edit that. But now if I go to my home screen, good night. I can't sing, but I can rap and beatbox. Go ahead, say beatbox for me or rap for me. Got it. Blue light filter is on. Done. An alarm has been set for 7 hours, 17 minutes from now. Alright, it's turned on. You can go to the Do Not Disturb settings to schedule the end time. Alright, the brightness has been changed. Okay, so it has gone through my full list, so I didn't have to go and do all those things at one time. It was able to do it very instantly. So that is a really nice feature that Bixby offers. Um, there's certain things like this in the Google Assistant, but it's really nice how easy and simple that is to be able to do. So while there are a few improvements on Bixby, it's not quite exactly where I want it to be, but hopefully this helped you in learning a bit more about all the things that you can do with Bixby 2.0 on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. If you would like to see more videos all about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, make sure you check my playlist over there on the side. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.